Weed monkey knob. It's got the juice. It's got the juice. I can't imagine a more beautiful thing. Corn. <laughs> corn. I hate TikTok. How many people so here much. know the It's Corn Kid? And if you don't, look it up. It's corn. Big lump of knobs. It's got the juice. It's got the juice. I can't imagine a more beautiful thing. Corn. Oh, I've been hearing for two days. I can't get it out of my head. It's literally impossible. Okay, you ready to talk I about? Don't know what we're doing. Shame, 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 shame. Hello everyone and welcome back to Foster the Meeple, a channel all about Williams. and Williams things. Exactly. We are here today to do a video once again of our shelf of shame. A little bit different. We're not going to give a full update, just a little update Why? from our last too video. It's too embarrassing. We're going to tell you a little bit about it. As we mentioned in our previous Shelf of Shame video, we are going to be doing Shelf of Shame September, where we are going to be focusing on our Shelf of Shame games to try and knock that number down. I know what you're wondering. What is that number? Jeff, what's that number? Take a stab at it. Jeff, what do you think the number of our Shelf of Shame games is? Now, this is only including the games that we have here, not what's in storage. Just what we have here? Yeah. 82. We have 102 games on our Shelf of Shame. Okay. Yeah, so our last Shelf of Shame video, we had 72, I think, 72, 73 or and something like that. And then we like bought that. 70 games. And then we bought 70 games. But that's pretty good because as of those 70, there's only like 30 that we haven't played. Always a but. Pretty good. Not too bad. What we did is we put a post out to our Patreon community and got them to vote on 10 games from our list of Shelf of Shame games. Shelf of Shame, not Shelf of Shane. We don't have one of those. Don't, I don't know any Shanes. That's true. That's true. I don't know any Shanes. I know one from high school. Yeah, yeah. there's one I went to high school with, but I don't know them. Okay, we don't have any shames for our shelves. We have a list of 10 games that our Patreon community voted on, 10 games from our shelf of shame list that we absolutely must play in September. That doesn't mean that we're only playing 10 shelf of shame games in September. We are gonna try and knock off as many as we can while also keeping in mind that spooky season's coming, so we need to prepare for that, okay? Before we get into the 10 games we have to play, I wanted to give you a little bit of an update from our last video because we knocked off 11 11 games from our shelf of shame. That's not that good. Since our last video, a month in a month. But that gives me hope because we did 11 in a month. That means we can at least do 10, right? We can do more than 10, it's just. Oh, we could do more than 10. We could do at least 11. The games that we pulled off of our shelf of shame that we have played are Ashes Reborn. Don't ask, there might be content coming. It's just, when's it People coming? People at this point don't believe us. No, nobody knows. We played Bunny Kingdom. We played Cryptid Urban Legends, Dominant Species, Flick of Faith, Kanban EV, Prehistories, Twilight Struggle, Then, Wonderland's War, and Yak. Yeah, some of those are big boys. Some of those are big boys. So they yeah. count as at least five. At yeah. least. Yeah, at least. And I wrote notes next to them. Did you see? Yes, I did. One of them I wrote sucks, but I'm not going to tell you which one. That's for me to know and you to probably never find out. Of the list of games, the ones that we gave to our Patreon community to vote on were the ones from the previous video, not any of the new ones that we just added because I thought let's prioritize those old ones. The list of 10 games that we must play from our Shelf of Shame list in the month of September in no particular order. We have Rococo, which I'm very excited to play. It's about dresses and fancy parties for Victorian people. I love dresses and fancy parties. I do. I don't actually love dresses you don't and like fancy either parties. Of those things. Jeff loves getting dressed up. The next one is Glenmore 2. I feel like both of those, actually, I heard for Coco isn't as complicated as it looks. Yeah. Glenmore 2, I feel like, looks complicated and is complicated. Mm -hmm. It's not. I'm pretty sure Kyle told me it's not overly complicated. I don't know if I trust Kyle on that because he's all like, play this 10 hour game, super easy. Does he? I don't know. He's probably said that at least once in his life. Then we have Ten Penny Parks, which I'm really excited to play and I know nothing about. Uh, I know Rodney liked it. Yeah. That's enough for me. Then we have Horrified American Monsters, which is one that I can't we could, believe we haven't we played. We could polish that off today. We could polish that off literally today, but it's not September yet. 
True. So better not. But that's a spooky season game, so that's a good crossover. Spooky season is not September. No, but we have to play spooky games in September so we can prepare to talk about them in October. We have a lot of spooky games. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next up, we have Agricola Big and Small because the Patreon community hates me. Thank you. It's not even really Agricola though. So whatever, man. Yeah. It's literally like the cute version of Agricola. It better be. It's, it's just the animals. Be, is what I have to say. And I knew oh, I put it on the list. if it was actually Agricola. You've already played it. It's not a Shelf of Shame game. So? So? We don't even own it. I know. We should. Should we? Yes. Mm -hmm. I love it. Then we have Obsession, which I'm very excited about. That's going to be a bit of a heavy learn. Every time I, I look at the rule book, I'm like, whoosh. Well, it's a heavy is. game, like physically. Weighs a lot. Then we have Glass Road, another right. Uwe game. I don't know anything about this game. It's like a two-player Uwe, I think. Two-player? I think it's best at two, yeah. Hmm. Then we have Stardew Valley. I'm excited for that one. I'm excited for that one, too. It's a game we never thought we'd actually play. Yet here we are. I honestly list. bought that with the intention, intention of just intention having of it just sit having on the shelf. It. Then we have Meadow, which is right here. Isn't that funny? They're right there. Meadow is one I've already learned and we were going to play and then it just didn't happen for whatever reason. Nobody knows. But I'm very excited to play that one. I've actually pulled out the rule books for Meadow and Stardew Valley already. They might be the first ones that we try to knock off. Then last but not least, we have Night Cage, which is another spooky season game. Perfect I'm timing. for that one. Perfect freaking timing. Which ones of these do I need to learn? Agricola Big and Small, I refuse. And Glass Road. You can learn the Uve games. And Glenmore too. Okay. Those are your responsibilities. Okay. Should you choose to accept the responsibility? Yeah, probably won't. With great power comes great responsibility. I probably won't accept it. Should we pick 10 games that... From our new list? Should we pick 10 that we commit? <gasps> Yeah, let's do that. Okay, I do want to say... Can we play 20 games? Can we get to 20 games in a minute? Yes. We're moving. It doesn't... Who cares? That's <laughs> yeah. what I say. That's what I say about it. Just so you know, the games that were voted for, like the top games that were voted for were Rococo, Obsession, and... Night. Oh, no. Nope. Meadow. Meadow. Interesting. Yeah. Drew did give one vote to Black Oat Hong Kong. <laughs> Keeping that dream alive, Drew. That one's just going to sit on that shelf forever, I've decided. Now what, what was close? What was just on the cusp? Good question, Barrage, Jeff. it looks like. Anno 1800, Barrage. We need to choose 10. 10 each? No, no. that's too many. <laughs> That'd be Five way each. too many. Five each. Let's write it down, Jeff, in my handy dandy notebook. Do you know what that's from? No. Blues, blues. Okay. Okay, I don't know. I already know one for me. What? Okay, what is it? Oh, we're just writing them down? Yeah. And then we'll say them? Yeah, we'll write this one. Probably not, eh? Um, I, uh, uh. Um, you're going way too fast. Man. Oh, sorry. Um, uh, what's it called? Mm -hmm. Where are all the games? Everywhere. Oh my god. What? These are so big. Mm. Oh, I don't want to play that this month, though. No, that's got to be an October game. What about this one? Yeah. Did I spell it wrong? Yep. Go away, fly. Stupid idiot. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three more, Jeffy. <laughs> Okay, Jeff and I have just convened and have created a list of 10. We have veened. We have veened. What's the difference? Nothing. Veened is not a word. Veened is not a word, but we've done it. We wrote down 10 games that we have decided that we have to play. So we have 10 from the Patreon community and then 10 from us. So those games are... Reckoners. Reckoners is there's a big... A freaking fly. There's a freaking... Always a freaking fly. The Reckoners is a big boy. Can't be creatures. Spooky season. Then we have... Cry Havoc. Yep. I don't know anything about it. Then we have... Anachrony. Another massive game. Then we have... Root Marauders. Excited for that one. Transmissions. Cute robots. That's all we need to know. Unmatched Volume 2. Mm -hmm. Dibs on Bloody Mary. We could... Jeff wants to say that we're going to knock out all the unmatched We games. definitely could. Let's put unmatched question mark. Sounds we have too. Bruce Lee. We have Deadpool. We have Volume 1. We have Volume 2. Hell's Kitchen. We have Hell's Kitchen. And we have... I know. Yeah. We have another. We could do it. Another game plan. Anno 1800, Call to Adventure, Stormlight Archives. And last but not least, Mama Jai. Momiji, with a cute deer on the front. So those are the 20 games that we are committing ourselves to. Now, if we don't play them all, what's our punishment? We can't buy any game store packs. That would be October, November. That's a big motivator. That'd be a big motivator. Anyways, those are the 20 games that we are committing to playing in the month of September, also known as Shelf of Shame September. If you would like to join us on this journey of Shelf of Shame September, 
please do. Maybe put down below in the comments, what are some games that you're gonna commit to playing? Hey, maybe we'll create a channel in the Discord. Good idea. We're gonna do that. How about that? Anyways, I think that's everything that we have today. Yeah. Let us know what you think, just in general. Like, what are you thinking? Love to know. Yeah, And What's on your mind? If you're interested in buying board games, like any of the 20 that we mentioned today, then you should first start by checking your friendly local gaming store. And for us, that is... Boardroom Game Cafe. Yes, we will soon, in a month, wow, do you see how bright it just got in here? Yeah. Fast sunshine. You're like, Casper. Where did I go? <laughs> we are soon going to be back in Nova Scotia. Coming. Soon. That is all that we have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, Please subscribe. we hope to see you again soon. And now we say goodbye. Goodbye. There it is. <sighs> it's always very hot here when we film. Actually, that's a lie. I do know Shane. I'm starting off the video with lies. Perfect. So lies, yeah, lies, lies, lies. I could do that today. Good idea. We'll do that. Well, let's do it once the video comes out.